with new details in a fight involving an Iowa-based rock star. Police say Mick Thompson was stabbed in the head by his brother during a heated overnight altercation. KCCI's Ryan Smith has the details. Slipknot, the Grammy Award-winning heavy metal band, was formed right here in Des Moines. They're really, really absolutely nice guys. They'll stop, talk with you, hang out. You know, it's, it's, they're very approachable. The group is known for its attention-grabbing image. Tonight, the band's guitarist faces the wrong kind of attention. Clive police were called to Mick Thompson's home around 4.30 Wednesday morning. A fistfight between Thompson and his brother Andrew spilled outside in the front yard. According to police, both men were drunk and used knives. The internationally known guitarist was stabbed in the back of the head. Yeah, we were home. Didn't hear anything. Mick was rushed to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. From TMZ to Billboard, the scuffle is making plenty of headlines. Luckily, he's okay. Rob Kuhn owns Wayback Records, a treasure trove of rock memorabilia. Mick Thompson's signature guitar that uh, was the first one he put out with a small hate inlay. Slipknot items are a hot seller here. Kuhn doesn't believe the incident will damage the group's loyal, widespread following. They're really in the top probably 15 bands I sell the most of. A lot of out-of-staters uh, want to buy it from the hometown. If I can get it, somebody wants it somewhere. KCCI's Ryan Smith reporting. Now the band's manager tells KCCI or told us by phone that this will not impact any future shows for Slipknot. The band is planning to headline a tour called Summer's Last Stand, and that kicks off in July.